guys, it's Tony. And it's Andrew. We just want to thank you for a great year of uh, Dorkly Bits in 2018. Us doing whatever it is that we do and you doing all that good watching. <laughs> That's basically the relationship here. <laughs> uh, but we, we had a lot of fun series this year. We had Pokemon Ralphie with all that gross tentacle body horror stuff. Yeah, we did uh, Old Man Sonic where a very pregnant Knuckles got to beat Sonic with his own fetus. I still can't believe it's real, but it is. <laughs> we time, made it. Each time I think I dreamed it, I look I look it up and it's we still there. We can't get rid of it now. No. It's too late. It's, it's permanent as the internet makes everything. Yeah. But we have a great 2019 that we're looking forward to. We got some conclusions of series that we're already doing, as well as some new shows and formats that we're super excited to share with you. And uh, a lot of, we're just gonna bring Shuckle back over and over, even though his thing's over, just because we like doing Non-stop it. Non-stop Shuckle. That's our <laughs> promise for 2019. <laughs> Uh, but until then, we hope that you enjoy this great compilation of everything that we put together this year. Thanks for everything. Cheers. Cheers to Shuckle and no one else. Okay to you two. I can move side to side? Pick a box! Its contents will help you on your way! <laughs> reading your mind, reading your mind. Tanuki suit is on at the right! Thanks, Toad! Come on, man! Respect the game! But it's like, I barely know you. I'm not just gonna help you move. <laughs> No, I don't like this. Go away. I don't like- oh no. Oh my god. Yeah, this is bad. Wow, that's what it's like to be Mario? We're not so different, him and I. I guess if you really just take a second to get to know- Oop, going down. Going down. Going down. Just take a second to get to know the people different from you, you'll realize we're all one and the same. I'm a living thing? What the fuck? That was the closest I have ever been to happiness. You know what? I should go go karting with them. Come on, something cool, something cool. Damn it, I look like Groucho Marx fing a bag of concrete. Oh boy, I can't wait to grow up fit and active. <laughs> and just like that, diabetes. Diabetes, huh? Tell me about it. Oh god, am I a waifu? Jesus, I'm a waifu Pokemon, aren't I? <clears throat> Might I smell your Pokeball? <laughs> no, you cannot sniff my Pokeball. Ugh, what perv is responsible for this sexy abomination I've become? I only exist for weird, horny teens. Wait, I have to show you my DeviantArt page. It's tasteful. <laughs> no more being weak little bugs for us. We're moving on up. Oh god. I, I can't move. I can't breathe. Oh god, I'm trapped! It's fine, dude. It's fine. This is just temporary. Soon we'll evolve again. Oh, okay. But what if he doesn't train us because we're so worthless like this? What's he gonna do? Just abandon us in a PC box? That will never... This is hell! This is actual hell! <laughs> Welcome to hell. Oh boy, a new region! Are you my trainer? Ha, ah, yeah, that hurts! Ow! Ha <laughs> ha! Ow, yeah! Oh boy! Caught this guy trying to cross the border into World 3-1 without a work visa or passport. What's your name again, sir? Mario, Mario. Yeah, sounds ethnic. Run a past immigration. Wait, he was eating those? They're made of lead! I just used gold plating to make them look nice! Sonic? Oh god! Did you honestly think I could afford infinite, pure, gold rings? That's dumb! You two are dumb! Huh, neat. Guess I win. <gasps> <laughs>
Oh, oh, sorry, man. I tried to get him fixed, but he flame blasted the vet. It's probably gonna be a minute. Oh, God, did you just poop in the middle of this death tournament? Oh, come on. I'm half horse. It's gonna happen. Hey, Mataro, need a diaper change? <laughs> <laughs> Horseman shat himself. Oh, ha, ha. That's real manure, guys. I mean, that's real mature. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, can you believe we gotta work this weekend? Hey, I could use the extra hours. Sheila was laid off, and our mortgage ain't gonna pay itself. Emergency! Emergency! Please evacuate now, in an orderly fashion. This is not a drill. Oh god, we gotta get out of here! Lawrence! Where are you going? The daycare center! On the third story! It's every couple for themselves! Carolyn, come on! We gotta move, okay? We gotta move, let's go! Daniel, I'm stuck! Just save yourself! Coward. Ah, you... Ah, are not dying here today! Ah. Hey, little buddies! It's, it's okay! Everything's gonna be alright! Kids, we're gonna play a little game. Um, I'm gonna jump out the window, and you're gonna land on top of me. Okay? You have to land on me, even if it looks like I'm hurt. All right? Okay, Mr. Lawrence. We'll do it. Tell my wife. I love her. <laughs> For once, I wasn't a coward. Remember that. Daniel? Daniel? Oh, God, no! <laughs> huh. Man, I would not be able to get through these auditions without these Max Tomatoes. Uh, Lakitu, uh, who's next? Bring him in, please. Alright, Slippy. Now, we just want to see how you fare in battle. Fox, a little help here! Okay, Slippy, baby, really looking to see just you here. Fox, a little help here! Next! <laughs> Wow! Next! So yeah, my hands are boxing gloves. I can punch ice, thunder, fire, and you'll notice Pikachu is one of my references. Oh, him only, was it? Um, you know what, I think we're actually gonna go in a different direction with this role, but really, seriously, thank you for coming out. Oh, I see. Thank you for your time. He's perfect. Wow! Security! Okay, I. I. We're looking to see how well you interact with items, so, uh, go ahead and go bananas. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Oh. Sorry, uh, what Zelda game did you say you were from again? A link to the wild? Mm, must be one of the Game Boy ones. Well, welcome aboard. Every link's got to be in this game at some point. Wah! Not again, security! What's wrong with Waluigi? Why doesn't anyone love me? Why? Hey, buddy, there, there. It's because you're terrible. Wow! Well when one of ours goes down in the field, we stop at nothing to bring the killer to justice. That's why HQ has sent us a special investigator from an experimental division that trains Pokemon to solve crimes. Gentlemen, meet your new commanding officer. Ooh, who's that Pokemon? Detective Squirtle! Detective Squirtle. That's right, but you all can call me Dick Squirts. Uh, I don't want to do that. Where's Detective Pikachu? He was busy. Besides, the agency has trained plenty of Pokemon dicks. You're just lucky you didn't get Dick Rhydon, Dick Machoke, Dick Pincer, Dick Haunter, Dick Krabby, oh, Dick Licklicky, or Dick Smoochum. That guy's loco. Doesn't matter anyway. The perp is long gone. Ah! Listen up, Numal Nuts. 
Every second you spend standing there twiddling your nightsticks is another second our perp is out there getting his jolly nature off, stomping the life out of slightly tubby cops who are close to retirement. Wow, the new guy's kind of a hard ass, huh? <laughs> ah! <laughs> you want to know what makes my ass so hot? Well, here's a clue. It's not because I've been spamming defense curl. It's these dead cops littering the tall grass. He's out there, men, laughing at us, taunting all of us. I want to eat all this ice cream, uh, like no one ever was. In order to find the perp, we got to think like the perp. Also, I have a lease here that shows this storage unit is rented by a guy named Ralphie Ow! Ow! Ah, shit. Uh, sorry. Actually, that one was good. That was actually a good contribution. Don't don't let the slap discourage uh, our dis... Ah. Uh, I thought Squirtle couldn't use double slap. I've forgotten more moves than you've ever even heard of, you piece of shit. I am the top of my class, number one motherfucker on the squad. I am Dick Squirts. Mr. Ralphie, shouldn't we turn ourselves into the police? I'm pretty sure my little boo-boo's only getting worse. Psh, nonsense. Soon enough, the police will realize this is one big misunderstanding, and you'll realize to stop complaining about your head wound. Ah, might have taken a decade or two longer than expected, but I'm nearly done working out the kinks with my personal teleporter. Howdy, Bill. Oh my god. Thought we'd cruise on by and see if we could pick up some boat tickets you're always handing out. You're Ralphie Jones, the maniac from TV. I saw the photos. They were horrible. And the even grosser photos from the internet. You're a killer and a kidnapper, too. <laughs> I'm flattered that you know who I am, but I'm not a killer. Run, youngster! Get the cops! <laughs> no, yeah. Todd, we have to continue your training! <laughs> help me! Uh... Get help! We need to send this psychopath to prison! No, Todd, use Metapod! Like I showed you! Uh, mm, okay, um, uh, I'll go Metapod! Ow! Uh oh. <laughs> uh. Holy crap! Wow, Metapod, you evolved into a billipod. What am I? I'm a monster. Please have mercy on me. Well, how about you please give us those boat tickets? What are you even talking about? There was one ticket I had 20 years ago. Now, for the love of God, would you please kill me? What part of I'm not a killer did you not understand? That cop thing was an accident. Could have happened to anyone. And that was an accident too. Metapod return. Next lesson, wade through these puddles and find us a credit card. Gosh, we're gonna be late to catch the SSN. Maybe we shouldn't have stopped to get a slowpoke tail. Slowpoke tails! Now in chocolate! You sure you don't want a bite? I wish we had stopped at a Pokemon Center instead. Or at least a bathroom to get fresh toilet paper for my head. <laughs> hey, that rhymed! Holy shit! Ralphie Jones! Exit the vehicle and place your hands upon your head! You are under arrest for multiple counts of murder, one of which was, ugh, it was real gross. Oh, wow. Some sort of Squirtle who is also a detective. They must call him Dick Squirts. <laughs> Wait, why is he laughing? How did you find us? You must be the world's greatest detective. You uh, literally used your victim's credit card to buy tickets to this boat. Uh, oh, and also your accomplice ran anyway. Uh, uh. <laughs> my champ. Ship's leaving. Brace yourself, Todd. We're gonna ram the barricade. Just like in the movies! Ah! Oh, 
Oh my god, why didn't you move? In the movies, they always move! Ah! Four more dead cops! They were having a group retirement party tonight! I took them here because I thought this would be an easy bust! So, it's your fault. It's not my fault! It's your fault. It is not my fault! It's your fault. Time's infinity. On the ground now, Ralphie! Or I swear to God, I will blow your f***ing head off! This ain't a water gun, I assure you. Oh, everything getting dim. I need Poké Center now. Todd needs to get to that ship's infirmary now or he's going to die. Do you want to be responsible for another death today? Hmm? Ah! Obvious, damn it! That's some real good acting, Todd. Really committing to the role. Todd. 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 Ah, oh, shit, there's a mew under here. So, personal bodyguard of Queen Sindel during Shao Kahn's failed invasion of Earthrealm, huh? That must have been fun. Good perks? I tore this kid from many a warrior. No battle was ever too daunting for mighty Shiva! Yeah, yeah, great. Uh, wanna share an app? Jalapeno poppers? My treat. We show can only consume the flesh of our fallen enemies. There is no sweeter meat. Uh-huh. Sure. Uh, Garçon, we'll do the extra melty mozzarella sticks to start, and uh, how do you feel about a red to go with that? I drink only the blood of those foolish enough to challenge my might. Also, rosé. Oh, totes, totes. Say, why don't we just skip the rosé and go for a little ride? I've got a pretty sick floating clown pod filled with wind-up toys. And the ride is so smooth. Your feeble attempts at entering my nether realm amuse me, turtle creature! Shiva also has desires of the sexual nature. Take me to your dungeon and I will copulate with you in a manner most erotic! I will teach you that pain and pleasure are but one entity, that one's lust must never be held back by the limits of the flesh! For I am Shiva! Follow me if you dare into a world of torment so sensual that you will be driven into madness! Waiter, can we get those extra melty mozzarella sticks to go? You sent the wrong power-ups to the wrong levels again? I'm oh, sorry, guys. I have got to let you go. It's probably a smart move. That makes sense. <laughs> This isn't my normal axe. Says it's called Leviathan? Follow me, boy. So, these are the only things we can build? This might be a problem. Oh god, Panda Rush! This thing I found is called the Cerebral Boar. Sounds neat, right? So neat. Ooh, let's see if you can shoot an apple off my head with it. You sure? Yeah, I got two rings on me. I should be fine. Oh yeah, you're definitely fine then. Here goes. Huh. Neat. Hey guys! What about me? What about old Shuckle? Oh man, I bet I'm gonna evolve any second now. Any second! Oh man, is this my evolution? Is Shuckle no more? Yeah, you evolution into Shuck the hell up! Come on, we're gonna teach you a new move! Organ harvest! Yay! Okay, this potion contains every evolution stone. If this doesn't make me evolve, nothing will. Oh. It's... it's working! I'm evolving! Oh my god. Oh my god. I evolved into a ghost type! Welcome to hell! Oh boy, a new region! Are you my trainer? 
Hey, not bad. I even got a sombrero. Somebody help! I think there's an illegal immigrant over there! <laughs> Donde estas your papers? Welp, couldn't get much worse. My child, your suffering is over. Oh, hi, Satan. I, I'm not, I, uh, never mind. You have earned your reprieve. I shall reincarnate you as anything you wish. Oh, boy. I want to come back as something with lots of evolutions. I know the perfect form for you, my dear Shuckle. Enjoy it. You are now a ditto, Shuckle. While you cannot evolve yourself, you can become any Pokemon. This is the best! Thanks, Satan! Oh, come on! You know, so many Pokemon are disappointed by their evolutions. They think they're too ugly, or too useless, or too sexy. But I think they're missing the point. We can't control what we're born as, but we can control what we do with the gift of life. I'm gonna use my powers to turn into a Shuckle! <laughs> wow, I did it! Haha! <laughs> yeah! Guys, did you see? You see, you like my evolution? I'm a, I'm a Shuckle! <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure, whatever you say, pal. We're just gonna need those kidneys you got there. Aw, oh, yeah! Ditto! Yeah! <laughs> Hi, ah, yeah, um, does anyone know where I could find a Megastone? I'm having a dinner party, and I really need some extra spoons for my gazpacho course. I'm a single father, and I'm doing the best I can. Our dad, dad chow. chow. <laughs> Alright, I've got a big date tonight, so I'm leaving you girls on your own. You know my one rule, though. No boys. We will face like a holy wrath. Yes, Dad. <laughs> Love you. So, boys. Boys. Yeah, this is just a little romantic bistro I found. Isn't this an Applebee's? <laughs> so, um, how long have you had a skull? Oh my God! Do not look right now. My ex-wife is right behind us. Zindel! Hey! You're looking great! Shao, you're looking great too. For a sex dungeon janitor after a Halloween clearance sale. <laughs> I'm here with Mataro. He's hung like a horse. Oh, I'm so happy for you. I'm here with Sonya Blade. Although it'll probably be more like Sonya Laid by the end of the night. <laughs> right, babe? <laughs> oh god, she was my ride! Ugh! How could this night get any worse? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi, Dad. What are you doing here? What did I say about boys? <coughs> oh, Would you mind cutting the smoke? No can do, old man. <laughs> so you must be from Helsinki. What are you talking about? Because you're Finnish! <laughs> Helsinki! Finnish. Finnish. I didn't have any more sense in my head. Daddy, why'd you do that? They were just taking us to dinner and a show. Guess they got dinner and a show. <laughs> That's our dad. What do you mean? We have to fight to the death. Can't we just play something nice? Like a tennis? Tennis is for the weak! We all love hyperviolent death sports now! Dropping your donut plates! Ten clicks northeast! Hoorah! Guys? Guys? Please, brother, help me. I still don't have arm, and I'm down to a green shells. Quit your bush camping and the push forward! <gasps> no! Oh, a sweet, a legendary helmet. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god! It's a every man for himself! I'm sorry, my friend. Come on, Mario, give me a smile! Haven't you ever felt so alive? Please! Why must we destroy each other? We're all friends. We should be celebrating this wondrous gift with maybe a, a round of golf, or soccer, or we could even just uh, race a go kart Hmm. All right. <laughs> 
So, online dating, huh? Pretty awkward. Uh, I, I, I'm sorry, I'm a bit out of practice with all this. I got divorced recently, and I'm still raising eight kids, although seven of them technically aren't even mine, thanks, family court. Uh, got left at the altar by my last fiancé, who, yes, I technically kidnapped and took to the moon. It's a long story, but, but, but hey, enough about me. How are you doing? Go Machoke! Oh, you brought a chaperone of some kind. Cool, cool. I'm totally fine with that. I get it. You never know with online dating, right? A lot of weirdos out there. Ah, wait, wait. What's going on? I'm trying to lower your HP so I can capture you. Okay. <laughs> Hold up, is this some kind of three-way BDSM deal? Because that's not usually my thing. But honestly, my cloaca could use the action. Look it up, it's a disgusting vent in my underside. Quiet, shiny Blastoise! Oh, oh, okay, you're a trainer, and you'd think I'm a Pokemon of some kind. Okay, I got it, I got it. Uh, so that's a, that's a no-go on the cloaca stuff? That's uh, just not, not in the cards? Is that what I'm hearing? Okay. This is just occurring to me now, but if you're a Pokemon trainer, you're probably like 12 years old or something. Yikes. Let's just pretend this didn't happen. You don't call your parents or the police, and I just wiggle on out of here. Hey, it's me, your boy Bowser, and you're hanging with Mr. Koopa. King Koopa, that is. Dad, no one knows what that is. The TGIF lineup was legendary destination television, Lemmy. Now shut your yap! You are ruining this for Papa! <clears throat> Leave a message. Turtle Man, this is Shiva of the Shokan Clan. Sorry, I know I said I would call you like several months ago, but things just got crazy with me, you know? Betrayed by Shao Kahn when he appointed my sworn enemy, Motaro, to lead his death squads! Work stuff, am I right? Anyway, did I leave my ceremonial daggers at your place? Been looking everywhere for them and pretty sure I left them inside you. Give me a call back if you find them. Oh, yeah, I hope your Croaka recovered from all the stuff I did to it. any work today, husband? Nah. Ain't no work for a broken down, canonical character like me. Afraid we might be in a bit of trouble with the rent this month. Don't you fret, hun. We'll figure something out. We always do. About to find out, I suspect. Here comes M. Prey Greg and his gang of pregnant fellers. Well, if it ain't the slowest thing alive. You got our rings, old man? Afraid I ain't got it, MP Greg. Maybe you all forgot how things work now. This ain't the old days. Fan art characters run the zones now. No one gives a yiff about actual canon no more. If you ain't fetish fan art, you ain't nothing. I'll get you your rings by next week. You know I'm good for it. Being a nine-month pregnant man with no uterus to speak of leaves a fella in a real unforgiving mood. You get, you leave my pa alone. Nice son you got there. Be a shame if he got impregnated. Th there ain't no need for threats. I'll pay you double next week. All right, double. And if you ain't got it, my fallopian tubes won't be the only things getting twisted. Oh, what are you done now, Sonic? I'll figure something out. I couldn't believe my dang ears when I got the call. The Blue Blur asking me for help. The Blue Blur's dead. 
It's just Sonic now, Tails. Lost my Tails the day the fandom took over. An OC named Baruto is using him as a fursuit. So I'm just miles now. Miles per hour? Oh my god, I just got that! <coughs> I, I just got that. I need work, Miles. I got a debt to pay to Empreg Greg. You know what happens if an Empreg Greg don't get paid. Is it... he gets you pregnant? I, oh, well, it just so happens I got a job for you. Transporting some precious cargo across the country. Could use the fastest thing alive. I don't run fast no more. Not after what happened last time. Well, I bet that tragic event from your past still haunts you to this day and will be revealed soon. For now, we gotta get going. Where are we headed? We've gotta cross a hundred miles of the most dangerous and creepy fan art zones imaginable. But it'll be worth it. We're delivering some important cargo. Chaos Emeralds. Now a box of stinky sweat socks. Some folks are in the feet. I reckon. Huh. <laughs> feet. Don't you want me, magic ghost balloon? Alakazam. Alakazam's brain continually grows, infinitely multiplying brain cells. This amazing brain gives this Pokemon an astoundingly high IQ of 5,000. It has a thorough memory of everything that has occurred in the world. Did you know that, uh, hippos sweat pink? Oh, cool. Hey, is your head okay? Uh, uh, the largest known prime number is 2 to the power of 77,232,917 uh, minus 1! Huh, neat. I think. Also, did you know? Slurk Puff. Its sense of smell is 100 million times better than a human's, so even the faintest scent tells it about everything in the area. It's like it can see with its nose. Oh, this world is filled with so many wonderful smells. Cinnamon rolls, flowers, and old, old cheese. And diapers? Oh, and sewage. Oh, more diapers. Oh, God, why is my sense of smell this strong? Oh, it's, it's too much. Oh, sure. Blame the garbage pile filled with diapers! Mag Cargo. Mag Cargo's body temperature is approximately 18,000 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> Darumaka. Darumaka's droppings are hot, so people used to put them in their clothes to keep themselves warm. Darumaka, I'm getting chilly again! How's that coffee and Indian food coming along? Fine, boss. That's my guy. Okay, I'll go grab you some laxatives. You know you could buy a parka! Are you okay? Why did you think catching a ride with a tornado wouldn't kill you? Oh, someone, call 911! Huh. Maybe a mute child who has never seen battle of any kind isn't the best candidate to go on a giant adventure. Anyway, I'm gonna go lay eggs in his brain. Ms. Peach, was it? Heard your last doctor told you to shove as many pills into you as possible to get rid of the viruses. That's incredibly dangerous and unethical. One pill every eight hours, and that's it. Hey guys! Ready for our next big adventure to- Oh, Jesus Christ, no! What? I'm a hedgehog. Hedgehogs are no deep, they're young. Sometimes. It's not weird. The only one who's weird is you for judging me. Could you guys keep it down? 
trying to lay an egg over here. You know, echidnas are one of the last mammal species that lay eggs. We're called monodremes. You guys are disgusting. Now excuse me while I spray musky urine over here to mark my territory. Like a normal person. Princess Daisy, so glad you agreed to the date. I always felt like there was something going on between us, but I could never quite- uh -huh, shut up and make a sexy face for this selfie. All right, what's your name again? Gotta tag you. It's Bowser. We play tennis together all the time. Oh, right, Bowser. Sorry, maybe I would remember you more if you ever kidnapped me instead of only focusing on Peach on a hot date with stud man Bowser, deaf getting some cloaca tonight, eggplant, water, droplets, peach, and post. Peach like ass, not like the princess. I hate that glory hog. Now order me a couple Cosmos and try to look sexy. Sexy, huh? So I guess later tonight we're gonna- Keep dreaming, lizard boy. Chop chop and get those drinks, though. Uh, Daisy, I feel as though you may be just using me for something. Way to crack the case, Sherlock. I'm making my ex jealous. Daisy, why? Oh, is that him? Is your ex here? <laughs> yeah. Made a fake Tinder profile and invited him on a date here, so now he thinks he's being stood up and seeing me out with someone else. That'll show him to treat me like a second-string princess. Daisy's the one in charge now. You know what? I don't think I'm comfortable with you toying with my- Oh, Macy's looking over here. Quick, kiss me. Lots of tongue. Yes, ma'am. Act these messages will be right back. <laughs> remember that song? I remember that song. I was young. I had my whole life in front of me. <sighs> Leave a message. I saw you on a date with Daisy tonight, and uh, I'm really happy for you, and uh, please don't f*** her, man, we just broke up, and it was my fault, she was all, Mario, so romantic, he rescues Peach all the time, and I was all, well, Peach gets kidnapped all the time, maybe I rescue you if you got kidnapped more, and she was all like, oh, so now it's my fault, and, and that's where it ended, I'm trying to win her back, please. Do you actually have an answering machine? Did I just wake up in 1994? You know what? You are really mean to me. And for some reason, I am turned on. Hold on. Wait. Counterclockwise. Yep. There we go. So, how'd you come to be driving around in Robotnik's old car? Feller in Casino Warzone sold it to me. Didn't say what happened to Robotnik. I figure he's long past. I'm in the trunk of the car! I'm you know, sometimes I feel like car. I can hear his voice off in the distance. It's saying, Hey, Tails, you let me out of this goddamn trunk and I'm gonna kill you. A, a lot of words were said, and I just think we could, we could have a dialogue. Nah, yeah, maybe he's better off dead. Even he wouldn't like what the world's become. I'm running out of oxygen! Yeah, you're probably right. Oh, just a heads up, we need to make a quick detour here. We'll be in and out faster than you can say Robotnik sucks. What did I ever do to you? I'm Dark Angel uh, 69. I'm Dark Steel. I'm like Shadow. I'm, like I'm the sharpest stuff to blaze. Oh my god, I get it. You're all damp here's darker than Shadow. I heard it a thousand times. Now where's hate my dad underscore 420? Uh, she got kidnapped by the diaper demons. You mean to tell me? My kin was taken by a group of soggy diaper scavengers, and y'all did nothing? Who's hate my dad underscore 420? My daughter had a thing with an OC a few years back. He got Mpreg, and then we had an edgelord OC kid. Sorry, old pal. I'm afraid our detour just got a little bit longer. Damn it, Tails. I told you I don't do this no more. I ain't signed on for this. I ain't got no choice. I gotta do this. I'm on watch for the night, so don't you try nothing. Just follow my lead. We gotta be real stealthy and careful, like. Yeah, leave my 
my daughter alone, you weirdo! Hey there. I'm a friend of your pa's. We're here to help. Well, that ought to do it. Miles, not the fire! The pent-up gas in his diaper! It's gonna blow! God damn it, Miles. Now you done it. We're gonna be torn apart by diaper folk. Hit my dad underscore 420. I just want you to know... I love you. I hate you, Dad. I love weed! Too bad your tails are gone, Miles. Could've just flown us out of here. Well about that, Sonic. So, this whole time you've had two tails and two people? I think it's obvious why I never mentioned this before. Also, it's probably best that you don't look at him. All right, time for a pit stop. Let's make it quick. Ugh, I don't have to go right now, Dad. I'll just wait in the car. Suit yourself, hate my dad underscore 420. Help! Help! Is anyone there? Shut up, Dad's car. You're so annoying. You know, Miles, I'm glad I joined you. Something happened and I swore I'd never run again. It turns out I've been running this whole time. Running from my past. But traveling across this fan art world with you is changing my mind. Maybe the world ain't as bad as I thought. Agreed. Huh? What'd you say, Miles? I didn't say nothing. Then who? Hi. Was that? Uh -huh. And were they? Yup! I ain't gonna be able to forget that sight. And I got enough regrets in my life as it is. So what happened to you, man? What made you stop running fast? Well... He's gonna do it! Sonic's gonna break his record for the fastest speed ever by a hedgehog! Oh, here he comes! Three, two... Oh god, no! I, I just wanted to be the fastest thing alive! And now they're all dead! All my shitty friends are dead! I'll never run fast again. And I never did. Once I killed all our shitty useless friends, I abandoned that life. Sonic, listen to me. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. Thanks, Miles. Once we make this final delivery, me and my family will finally be safe. God help me! <laughs> you said it, Car. Feels like the Lord above is watching out for us. I knew that if I kept tabs on that tailless fox that he'd bring me to you eventually. Now that I've found you, I can finally put an end to the blue blue. <coughs> uh, smoking for dramatic effect when I've never smoked a day in my life was stupid. You'll pay for that too, Blue Blur! Time to collect the old harvest. Fucking shit. This is the fourth time I've had you come out this month. What is so hard about keeping my house from being broken into? Well, we get this call every day from every house in Hyrule, so... Hey, look! The alarm worked this time. That's good. Right? Oh, another batch of cuckoos. Wait, who, whose turn is it to defeather them? Oh, I think it's yours, Richard. Wow, what a treat for you. Wait, what? But wasn't it just my turn? Enjoy. <laughs> Sir, I'd be happy to help you with your hookshot issue, but I need you to tell me what's wrong with it. <sighs> Sir, I'm not allowed to hang up on you. Just... please. Get you could... out of my house! Get out! Get... get out! Listen, I know why you think being a potter would be difficult in the Zelda universe, but it's not because of that! Ceramics is just a dying industry. This new generation seems to want to put their money towards experiences and events more than mine ever did. We found peace in having nice, handcrafted items in our homes. But that's just not how it is anymore. Business is tough, and I don't see it getting any easier. 
but I still do it because I love it. <sighs> I mean, and that too. So then I figure, I'm single for the first time in ages! I should open myself up to new experiences! Who knows, maybe I'll discover something about myself along the way. Mm. Oh yeah, oh, totally, me too. Uh, gotta be honest, I have mostly been dating robots that I have made personally, but I keep giving them drills and spikes where their genitals should be, for some reason I haven't quite worked through. Uh, anyways, I figured I'd try to date a non-robot for once, and, uh, since you're just kinda soft on the inside, but hard on the outside, this is like a stepping stone or something. See? See? That is exactly what I'm talking about. Dating is so complicated now. Is sexuality a spectrum? Are labels meaningless? Can you have sex with robots? <laughs> I'm still trying to figure it all out. Here, I'll break it down for you. As long as there's consent given, go get your D or V or whatever just wet with any kind of motor oil you want. Men, women, non-binary, fish robots, it don't matter. Sexuality is a beautiful thing that we've complicated with our own hang-ups and labels. You know that whole Sonic fan art thing that everybody calls weird and messed up? You know, it's actually one of the most progressive corners on the internet. Imagine being able to be open with your kinks and fetishes in a welcoming, diverse community. It's beautiful! Wow, you know, I never thought about it like that. It's all about having a real connection, allowing yourself to be vulnerable and communicating your desires. Exactly! So, uh, hey, you, you want to get out of here? You know what, Ivo? I'd love to. Great! Uh, fair warning, when I say I want to be drilled, I mean that in the most literal possible sense. Oh, yes, yes, I get that. Oop, a message style. Oop, 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 leave a message style. Hey, leave a message. Hey, just calling to say, I, I had a great time last night, but, you know, how about we consider it kind of a one-off thing, you know? Um, I'm back together with my ex, who's a robot, and... Is that that slut that you hooked up with? Hey, slut, you are incapable of pleasuring my egg-shaped man to his desired specifications. Metal Sonic, baby, honey, pointy buns. I, listen, it was nothing. He means nothing to me. It was a w Come on, Bowser, I'm sorry, I gotta deal with this. Uh... Toodaloo! Metang. It floats midair using magnetism. Its body is so tough, even a crash with a jet plane won't leave a scratch. Jeez! Ah, that is like the fifth one this week! You're real lucky I didn't get scratched none! of them carries a mask that used to be its face when it was human. Sometimes they look at it and cry. Oh, 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 it's not fair. It's not fair. I was so ugly. Houndoom. If you are burned by the flames it shoots from its mouth, the pain will never go away. Whoa, look! A wild houndoom! Oh, thank God, a person! Uh, please, you gotta help me! My name's Jason Smith, and I'm a research assistant at the Beigetown Science Center. I have no idea how, but I went to bed as a human being and woke up as this... this thing! Oh, you were a human being, too? Uh, yeah, I mean, I wasn't a garbodor fire like you obviously were, but yeah, yeah, I was a human, too. Wow, that was... Super effective. Oh. 
thank you both for coming. I wanted to talk about us and this crazy love triangle we've got going on Kidnapping here. is not a love triangle. You two are a couple, right? Eh. Yes. Well, are you familiar with the term throuple? It's three people, one relationship, several holes, and maybe one vent. You're crazy if you think I'm going anywhere near that cloaca of yours. Don't knock it till you tried it, my swarthy little rigatoni. Under this spiked shell is a veritable toad house of treasures that is sure to get you there faster than any warp whistle you can wrap your lips around. And on that gross note, I think we'll excuse ourselves. Peach, a darling, we've been dating for over 30 years. Maybe this is a why we never go to the next level. We were waiting for our player at number three. One night. I'll give us one night to see if this thing can work. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. I promise you will not regret what is about to happen. I just had the most horrible dream. Hey there, Snorlax. Did you rest long enough? Are you all back to full health? <laughs> anyway, the boat crashed. Oh my god, the SSN! Wait, what happened to the crew? Oh, don't worry. We made them jump overboard long ago. They're fine. Ah! Where are we, Mr. Ralphie? Yours truly steered us to a secluded jungle off the coast of exotic Alola. At least I'm pretty sure that's where we are. Once again, we, we had to make the crew jump overboard. I think we're still in Kanto. Isn't that the highway we took to the SSN? Like, like right there? Um, jungles don't have highways, silly. Besides, there's an Alolan muck. And a member of Team Skull. Those kidders. Now let's get you fed. Gotta get your strength up if we're gonna continue my, er, uh, uh, your training. <coughs> what is this? Uh, some candy I salvaged from the boat. It's the only food we have, so, uh, it's pretty rare. Oh, oh boy! Oh! <laughs> oh, God! What am I? Wow! You evolved into a lowland tide! What did you do to me? I'm a freak! <laughs> Whoa, now! Freak-ish. Freak-like, maybe. But I wouldn't say you're a freak. <laughs> ah, quit it, freak! Candy doesn't, doesn't evolve people, people Ralphie. Ralphie. I wouldn't evolve unless I'm a, a Pokemon. Oh my god! What an unbelievable revelation! We are next to a highway! Okay, okay. So you've accidentally evolved into a disgusting monster. Who hasn't that happened to? Uh, anybody? It hasn't happened to anybody! What better place to be a deformed bag than here in sunny Alola? Plenty of skin to tan, huh? Huh? We're in Kanto, you badoofus! Maybe you recognize my dad's building? Oh, pfft. Red has buildings all over. You can't ever just be wrong! Do you understand how annoying that is? I'm ending this now before anyone else gets hurt. 
I mean, before anyone else gets hurt. God, what is that thing? Mayday! Mayday! I'm losing control! Tell my newborn triplets, Daddy loves them! Oh, suddenly not constantly killing people isn't so easy, is it, Tide? Shut up, shut up, shut up! Uh, Daniel, go ahead and cancel my lunch order. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and head on down to Cinnabar Island because it's taken so goddamn long, I've turned into a fossil, Daniel! A fossil! Oh, 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 Todd, my child, you're back and, and you've evolved. Yeah, a uh, funny thing, Dad, because I always assumed I was a boy and not a boy-shaped Pokemon. Well, I mean, I assumed you already knew this, uh, and that's why you and this psychopath killed my scientist, Bill. No, that was really just good old-fashioned criminal negligence or manslaughter. I do get the two confused. Well, I happen to make a tape for you to watch just in case you ever found out. Hi, I'm Mr. Deoxys. If you're watching this, it means your father is dead. Oh, uh, uh, we can skip that. By combining equal parts of Mr. Mime, Garbodor, and just a hit of Froakie to fill in the genetic gaps, bingo, Pokey DNA. Your father was able to create the very first child type, so he could have offspring that he loves as much as he loves Pokemon. Wow. So if Todd really is a Pokemon, he belongs to whoever catches him. Well, I, I guess technically that's true. Dibs! Yes, ha 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 ha! Who's the master trainer now? And also, can I borrow a Pokeball? is the very picture of elegance and beauty while swimming, it is also cruel. When it spots prey, this Pokemon inserts its thin mouth into the prey's body and drains the prey of its body fluids. Oh my goodness, what a gorgeous Pokemon! Really, it's truly a- <laughs> Snorlax. It is not satisfied unless it eats over 880 pounds of food every day. When it is done eating, it goes promptly to sleep. I got 880 pounds of pizza for a Mr. Uh, Snor Snorlax. Could you uh, just put the pizza in my mouth and then you just leave? Shuckle. A shuckle hides under rocks, keeping its body concealed inside its shell while eating stored berries. The berries mix with its body fluids to become a juice. Yeah, it's Shuckle! Hey, are you drinking my berry juice? Is that the red stuff you're sucking out of my veins? Oh boy, I'm getting, getting woozy. <laughs> shuckle juice. Spoink. Spoink bounces around on its tail. The shock of its bouncing makes its heart pump. As a result, this Pokemon cannot afford to stop bouncing. If it stops, its heart will stop. <laughs> How was I supposed to know using sleep powder would do that? Magikarp. It is virtually worthless in terms of both power and speed. It is the most weak and pathetic Pokemon in the world. Ooh, another Pokemon to drink from. Gross. A Magikarp would rather suck a Garbodor dry. <laughs> <coughs> what a loser. Where are the bombs? Well, I, I, I don't know what you're talking about, man. Full anal cavity search ASAP! Hey, this guy's anal cavity? This, this thing is nuts. Get over here. Look at this. Oh, God. Why aren't these feral wild animals politely lining up for individual battles? <laughs> Sounds like Mario defeated the Koopaling and is returning to the castle with the wand now! <laughs> Where's the wand? <laughs> Found it! Dude! I think I broke my hand! Shit! I 
ice is so much harder than not ice! Someone Google WebMD! Ready for our double date? You know it, Donkey. Me and Dixie Kong are super excited. Oh, hey, I just realized. I'm Diddy Kong, he's Donkey Kong, you're Dixie Kong, and Candy Kong. All Kongs. It's everybody's last name is... Oh, God, are we all related? Okay, on three, everyone say your grandfather's name. One, two... Cranky Cranky Kong. Kong. Okay, so, honestly, a history of incest explains a lot. All right, let's have a good clean Smash Brothers fight. I will tear apart your mind with psychic fury! Ah, my brain! Wait, I remember. I remember everything! Mario? Mario, snap out of it! Oh god, I remember it all. We're just the children's playthings, given unnatural life and made to fight each other to the death. Gah, when did Nintendo get so dark? You understand that I'm a child who had to fight an immortal, evil, cosmic fetus, right? Our lives are a lie. We're a bunch of toys brought to life only to suffer. Come on, buddy. It's not all bad. Sure, we live in a dark version of Toy Story crossed with Fight Club, but hey, this time we get to fight Ridley. Whoa, you know, life may not be perfect, but at least the Ridley's in Smash. Uh, let's do it, pal. <laughs> uh, Mario, am I unlocked yet? No, you're a still a secret character. Oh, you got a friend in a me. Whoa, what a great year in videos that we watched behind us on the screen. Everyone has a TV behind them that's always playing Dorkly videos, as they say. That's the right way to live. Maybe the only way to live. I don't want to know about another way to live, Tony. <laughs> you don't have to. Tony, Ignor kill me now if there's another way to live. I, I don't want to have to, but I'm gonna. Uh, speaking of Dorkly videos, if you want to watch more, you could click right here, or if you somehow have watched a year's worth of videos without subscribing, you can click here, or you can check out our other projects here that keep us alive. Because you like us when we're alive, I hope. Yeah. Anyways, here's to 2019, where we'll hopefully be alive. It's up to you. We love you.